Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Persis Plays Stardew Valley. As always, there's a link in the video description to the playlist, so you can skip around and watch from the beginning if you need to, and also to the link on the Something Awful forums, uh, so you can play along with us, suggest things, uh, ask questions, etc., etc. So, here's the Iridium Bar we were talking about last episode. Uh, it's the, the highest uh, type of thing you can do. And what I also want to do here, I think we might have talked about it briefly before, uh, what I want to do is make a seed maker. So I need wood, coal, and a gold bar. Let's get that. Oof, down to one coal. And where's my wood? There we go. Uh, so make a seed maker. Put all this other crap back. Just like that. Uh, one of the other things in the recycling machine, if you remember, the um, refined quartz was, was the... Uh, You'd take quartz and you'd add a coal and put it in the uh, in the smelter thing. Um, a broken CD trash always turns into refined quartz. So that's one of the things that's kind of nifty. Uh, one of the big reasons to um, get that recycling machine and make sure you save up your stuff. So uh, now we have a seed maker and I'll just show you how it works real quick. We take like a, a green bean here, put it in the seed maker. It doesn't take very long. Um, you know, just a few ticks on the old clock. And what you're going to get, and we'll see how lucky we get, we either get mixed seeds, there's a very low chance of just getting mixed seeds, which sucks, or you get a number between one and three of the seeds for that thing. Like fruit trees that work, obviously, and uh, other things like wild seeds don't work. But it's a way for you to take certain kind of seeds, especially... These ancient seeds, we're going to get into that in a bit. And, well, coffee, not exactly. Uh, the ancient seeds, we can, uh, like when we start getting the ancient fruit, or if you want star fruit or something like that, and it even works with the um, sweet gem berry, that, that super expensive seed. So you could kind of like grow some sweet gem berries, break them down, grow some more, and you can do things like that. So uh, I just wanted to get a little intro on the books. Uh, we got another after the video uh, cut scene. Uh, before so I'm gonna cut to that right now and uh, do my chores and everything and we'll see what other trouble we can get into all right well miss this this is at the end of the last video and we'll plug this in later when we finish the fish tank that removes that glittering boulder so we'll get into that in a little bit uh, but of course this is day 13 and I'm gonna do that after the intro for day 14 ah whatever uh, so in any case you got to see the little animation all right, I think what's going to happen when I go in here, there we go. Knew this event was coming. And of course, I showed the uh, thing of the glittering boulder getting removed. And we have Willie out here. What are you doing so far north, Willie? I know what I, <laughs> I know what made the glittering boulder up here. I do. Quality ore. Okay, so the glittering boulder. Uh, no, I don't really. <laughs> so the glittering boulder was plugging up the uh, mountain and ores will now flow into the rivers and stuff like that. Uh, Willie's about to give us a uh, pan for us to pan for or whenever we see one of these glistening things. So now we got a, I believe it's called a copper pan. Yeah, a copper pan. So, oh, we got knocked off our horse. Here we are on Hoof It Mofo, looking around. Let's see if there's any glistening things. Uh, what do you say? It's good, good exercise or something? Well, I'll tell you what, have a cranberry. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm a very thoughtful farm owner. Willie, or Willie, pff, Linus. Alright, so let's see real quick if there's... Alright, there's a glistening bit right here. Let's see how this goes, because... Uh, okay, if I click... Okay, so if you click near it, uh, you get like one ore. Um, let's see if there's any other ones here. Because generally what I don't do... Is bother with this. I just leave the copper ore at home. Uh, it's you know one ore. It's not necessarily the highest ore. It's eh, 
kind of whatever. So uh, that's one of the things that uh, that you get. That's the glittering boulder getting removed. And we're going to go ahead and mine all this crap too while we're at it. Um, just to get it going. Um, but yeah, that's so that's the... Uh, still takes two taps to get the uh, iron done. What's this? I think this is a diamond. Yeah. We got some minerals. So basically, that's one of the uh, community center rewards. Not the best one. Actually, it's probably the worst one. And of course, that's the one for the uh, fish tank, which takes the most ridiculous amounts of effort. Um, but hey, what can you do? Uh, so go ahead and cut it here. See what other uh, shenanigans. I think we're going to head over to Pierre's uh, after I get done with this. I want to try to um, get some rice. So I'll see you guys in a few. All right. It's the next day, and I got a lot of errands to run. I didn't manage to get to Pierre's the day before because I spent all day uh, mining out that uh, air, that that uh, quarry area. So, uh, one thing we got, let's see, we're going to town, so let's see, we got uh, the dwarf's, the last dwarf scroll to give to Gunther, which is phenomenal. Uh, the rest of this is geos, with the exception of our goats have finally provided a large goat's milk. <clears throat> so we're good to go with that uh let's go put that in because that's going to complete uh the pantry room which is phenomenal so actually well we're not on yeah let's go up. let's go up and do it i was going to say we're not on the clock we have to go to the, all the other places before they close but uh i'm just too excited so we already got this room completed uh now we have the pantry which is also going to fix the kitchen Spoiler alert, sorry. Uh, large goat's milk. So both of our goats have provided large goat's milk today. They've gotten old enough and gotten happy enough. The reward is a cheese press, which is good. We can use another cheese press. And here we go. Junimo's baby. You are very welcome, Junimo's. And look at this. Look at this pantry. It's all nice, fixed up. I wonder if... Can you can you cook at this stove, too? No. Only the one in your house. And we'll get to that soon enough. Um, so, yeah. It's not going to show us them putting the heart up. Or the star up, I guess. Huh. So, these are the only two uh, things left to do. The bulletin board, which has a lot of stuff, like, that you have to get later on. Um, so, we'll, we'll get that as we can. Especially this guy, this jerk. That's what we need the rice from Pierre's for. And then this, which costs 42,500 gold to uh, completely do. So we're going to leave that alone. Oops. We're going to leave that alone for now. We didn't get an animation. We got cheated out of an animation. But it's time to go to Pierre's. Should be right down here. Oh, hi, Abby. No, wait. Hold on. Okay. We've got an apple for Abigail. Good. Because we kept... Uh, let me just get some of this stuff out of our inventory, or out of our hot bar. Uh, oh, look, Barney's out here. We can give some presents out. Perfect. We kept giving Abby uh, some cranberries, and she didn't like them. So, maybe I should use her full name. Abigail. Hmm. Um, all right, so, let's see what else. Uh, Pierre sells all this stuff that you need uh, for cooking. Vinegar, oil, sugar, wheat flour. Uh, you can actually make some of this stuff in the farm. Uh, maybe we'll make those buildings later. But for now, let's just take a couple of each. Just like this. So we can put them in our fridge and we can make anything we need. And here are all the different fertilizers that Pierre sells now. And he's also selling different kinds of... Uh, Stuff I think that stuff rotates around. Different stuff you can uh, decorate your house with. And, of course, the fruit trees. So, uh, we've given him those presents. And it is Monday, so... Oh, let's talk to Alex, too. Or, I'm sorry, Sam. I didn't say that out loud. That was, that was out of character that I said that. Sam didn't hear me uh, refer to him as the wrong name. So, we're good. He's not going to hate us for it. Of course, Leah... You're very welcome, Leah. Look, there's a Christmas tree out here. Uh, let's see how we're looking. Robin's close. Demetrius close. Everyone else, we're about halfway that through. And then some of the other people that are harder to get a hold of. Uh, let's... What, oh, this is the mayor's house. Screw him. Let's head into uh, the old folks' house. Try to get some good stuff going here. 
Hmm, a gift. Hmm. Okay. Alex isn't home. And of course, Penny. Ooh, networking. Got some kind of achievement. I guess that's for getting a certain amount of hearts with a certain amount of villagers kind of thing. Uh, so let's head down here. We're running out of cranberries. We're going to have to get some more. Something. Oh, Elliot's down here. Cool. Yeah, I tried to do so. Just to visit you. No other reason whatsoever to uh, come in here at all. <clears throat> hmm. So, let's donate the last Dwarf Scroll to Gunther. And actually, we kind of messed it up. Because uh, I thought there was only three. So, why is it saying new reward? I don't know. So, we'll line them up real good right over there. And let's collect the rewards. Here it is. Dwarvish Translation Guide teaches you Dwarvish. So, now we know Dwarvish. Is there a... What was the thing? Like a... All right. Wallet is where you can see that we have the Skull Key. And now we have the Dwarvish Translation Guide so we can speak Dwarvish. Good. Let's get back on Hoof It Mofo and head on up to Clint's. Clint, you know what day it is. There's no holiday to save you this time. Golden Watering Can. Perfect. And let's also, yep, you're a blacksmith. Same as yesterday, same as tomorrow. Uh, we'll give him a nice little present. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to shop. Stuff costs a lot of money when you got to buy it from him, but it's better than uh, mining it. So mm, let's get some more coal. Kind of can't go wrong. Coal will never go bad. And we're going to start kind of sort of saving. I don't know if we're going to do any more buildings. It depends on how much more money we get uh, together before the spring. But I'm going to start kind of saving for the spring. I want to go big in spring with uh, with seeds. So that's what we're going to do there. Let's just head down to the beach real quick and do... Haven't been down here in a while. Do some foraging. We've got some Nautilus shells. A whole bunch of worms to pick up. The seagulls are frolicking. Loving life. And yeah, so uh, let's go ahead and do another cutaway, and we'll see what else we can get up to. All right, so we're back here on Awful Farms. It's in the nighttime. You see I'm starting to use the seed maker. It works really well on crops that produce over and over again, like cranberries and blueberries and stuff. Uh, but what I want to do right now is do some cooking. Uh, one of the things is the cooking recipes will, will like, trigger if the ingredients are in your... Uh, inventory but they'll also trigger if they're in this refrigerator so you see with whatever we have in the refrigerator we bought from pierre's you see we i put a fish in a seaweed so that we can make this monkey roll there's a couple eggs in there or no i'm sorry this egg is in my uh, inventory we can make pancakes with wheat and eggs and you see they all have little buffs like this is just a lot of energy this uh gives us plus two to foraging etc etc so what we need for the community center is a maki roll so we go ahead and make that that's how you do cooking in this game i don't mess around too much with the buff food um just because i'm too busy making money but that is what we need there and actually hold on let me uh grab a couple more of these so that every time i pass by i can make some cranberry seeds and see that cranberry gave me three cranberry seeds so it is it is uh random and we've almost got all of our AOL CDs turned into refined quartz and one of the things I want to do now is I'm going to start to make a bunch of let's just get all the ingredients in our uh, inventory here we're going to make a bunch of these quality sprinklers because a quality sprinkler uh, we used one before we got the one from the community center it waters all the stuff directly around it so the nine squares or no six seven eight squares around it so uh, what we're going to do, I don't want to use like all, all, all of our resources. So we're going to make like, I don't know, maybe how are we doing? What's the limiting factor here? Refined quartz. We're going to have to do some more mining, of course, to get more uh, resources for later. But let's make a... Okay, I used all the refined quartz. So there we go. We got 33 of these fantastical sprinklers and we're going to lay them all out and get them ready uh for okay seeds are done uh get them ready for the spring 
and see what else happens. We did finish. So now the only two community center bundles left is, uh, we are, and I have a wine cooking. So we have a wine for that. We need a pomegranate for the enchanters bundle. We need, we just made the maki roll. We need the fiddlehead fern, which grows in the, um, the secret forest in summertime. We need a truffle as well. Wait a minute, what else am I missing? Fiddlehead fern truffle. Mackey roll. Okay, yeah. And the truffle as well, which we need pigs to get. I just got my wires crossed in a big way. And then the dye bundle, red cabbage uh, is one of the year two pier crops. And duck feather is a rare drop in the uh, duck barn. So sooner or later, that'll come up. It was the same thing with the rabbit foot, um, but I found that in the traveling cart. And of course, if I find the duck feather in the traveling cart, that'll be quicker. So that's all the items. The rest of these are just straight gold. So we're good to go on that. That's perfect. Uh, we'll get there at some point. So let's go ahead. Now we have the sprinklers ready to go. Uh, do we have any more? Oh, you know what? Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, there's only three. Make some more mayonnaise. Put this guy back. We'll make uh, one more milk. Or one more cheese, I'm sorry. Perfect. We'll sell this stuff up. We'll go to sleep for the night and see what kind of trouble happens. I, 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 spoiler alert, I know something's going to go on, so <laughs> I'm not going to get away. Uh, there we go. Perfect. And got another AOL CD to put in, just like that. I'll just put this aside for when we get that. Nice. All right, it's all coming together. Uh, so let's go ahead and... And you see, the seed maker does work pretty quick. So however many seeds I fed, now I've got 11 cranberry seeds. And they were, what, 200 gold apiece? So um, that's a really good way to not have to pay for seeds. So uh, let's head to bed, make sure I didn't miss any queen of sauces or anything. This was just a living off the land telling us about geodes. And we already know about geodes. So let's head to bed and see what we get. Oh, boy. And our second... Uh, Silo is done too. That's good. So now we got all this profit, and you see, we're starting to make some serious coin from all the stuff we're producing and selling the jellies, the pale ale, all that kind of stuff. We sold some gold star forage, and of course, a rusty spur that we already got elsewhere, so we don't need it for Gunther's. We made 11,000 uh, bucks that day. So great. Let's head out and start playing around. Fortune teller doesn't matter because I got things to do. I'm not going to be going to town at all. All right, so. Get that going. Perfect. We have, uh, let's grab another wheat. Actually, you know what? We're not going to. Because I want to get them all on the same schedule so that I don't have to mess with it. We're going to put this wine in here because that's going. That's. Damn it. That's going to go to the community center uh, for the wizard bundle. Got another final little thing here. Oops. I did get another level on fishing, so the, the crab traps do indeed give you uh, fishing skill, you know, slowly. Uh, so that's going along. And let's see what else we'll do. We'll do, we'll do a day of our, our standard chores, just because I don't think I've done that for, for a while. So let's see what else we have. We'll say hello to all the animals and stuff. Uh, get this out of the way so that we have space for hay. And all of our chickens are here. They're happy. They're healthy. And, well, our chickens and our ducks. Perfect. So let's start picking up the eggs. We're getting void eggs. We got Henrietta, we got Nugget, Cluckington, Kentucky, Fried, Captain. You see their hearts are building, hungry, sobbing. And, no, I already... Fried? Fried? <gasps> we have two fried. I messed up somewhere along the way. This isn't good. Okay, I gotta figure out what, what chickens. I'll get them renamed, I promise you. Uh, I'll sort that out when when uh, I'm cutting away at some point. Gotta fix that. Get out of the way, Henrietta. What the hell? Wait a minute. Fried and... No, Digby Caesar, it wasn't. I was just clicking the same one over and over again. All right, we get, we're, our chickens are named properly, but of course they're trying to box us in here like the bastards that they are, get out of the way. 
You jerks. And I can't, like, you can do it with villagers where you can push the room, but for some reason, won't let me do it for chickens. Jesus Christ, look at this. They love me so much, they don't want me to leave. All right, perfect. So those are our chickens. And actually, we'll start mayonnaising up uh, some of the eggs that we got. Just like that. Put the rest of them in here for later. And let's go say hi to our barn animals. And look at that. Our, our greenhouse is ready to go. Say hi to that. And we say hi to them. That's your mom right there. And we can milk them. So you get two little pups of heart. We've got Hell Cow giving us the large milk. Of course, the, the milking thing is a little awkward. Uh, Dickie is giving us a milk. And I just got the goat milk yesterday, so we're not going to get any milk. Did I already milk this guy? No, I didn't. Oops. Let's help. Painted horse, of course. Of course. Heifer lump, our new cow. This is the first day uh, she's given us milk. Mom, did I get all the cows? I'm thinking I'm missing a cow because I'm sitting here. There we go. I'm sitting here chatting away. Not doing... Not paying attention to uh, my animals, which of course, you know, Peta would uh, get all pissed off at us, but who cares? Any case, uh, let's, we got that, got that, put that away. Great. So, what we have here is our greenhouse, which of course, uh, this is like the best community center um, reward. Full stop. Like, like by far, of all the things, this one is the best one. So... Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take our stuff. We got the one quality sprinkler. We got a bunch of stone floors. We don't need any of this other stuff. Let's get ready. Ready to roll. Ready to produce. It's going to be awesome. All right. Uh, so, hmm. We're also going to need some seeds. Let's get the ancient seed. Let's get two strawberry seeds. Let's get... Uh, 10 blueberry seeds, 9 hops. Let's get... Uh, well, we got the cranberries. All right, so... Let's go in there and mess around. And of course, the uh, watering can now goes 1, 3, 4, and then that's that's the gold level watering can. is is, is a 3x3 three three just like that. Um, and we only have the hoe up to like 5x5 five five section. So, let's see what we have here. Beautiful. All right, so what we have is our greenhouse, and we have a place to get water. The whole outside here, you can actually plant fruit trees on, which is amazing. So you can get fruit trees, and they'll produce all year round. And I don't have any fruit trees, but we're definitely going to buy some and get them going, uh, at, at the very least, a pomegranate, because we need one of those for the community center. So uh, this area in here is all tillable land. You don't need scarecrows. The crows don't come after you. And you can put in sprinklers and all that stuff. So uh, it's really great. And you want to kind of plan it out a little bit. You know, one, two, just like that. One, two. And when we get the best, best, best sprinklers, we can mess around a little more with it. But for now, we're just going to get this stuff. Um, and the nice thing, because there's no seasons, you can plant any crop you want, right? And you can also... Um, one, two over. Perfect. Good. Uh, and they don't go bad. They don't They don't only last one season or anything. So if I cr plant cranberries in here, oops, they will just last forever until I dig them up. And they'll produce cranberries every, you know, however many days cranberries produce. And you can kind of see why now this is by far the best community center upgrade. So let's use our hoe. Just like this. And this is why I said the uh, the hoe upgrade is not like the best, most critical, most important one. Because, uh, you know, you can do this all one by one. But when you got the metal and you want to get all your tools looking all nice and all matching and stuff at the end of the game. So, got to do it sooner or later. 
All right, so now we got that going. Let's see what we have. We have our ancient seeds. Could these still grow? Well, there's only way, one, one way to find out. Uh, let's drop that right here in the corner. Uh, we have hops. Remember, these grow on trellises. So we want to make sure we put these in a place where we can like get around. Oops. Well, I guess that's our guy. Uh, <laughs> let's... Uh... Okay. So put these here but we don't want to put like other hops or grapes or anything uh in the general area so we want to make sure that the rest of this stuff is uh different uh let's see we have our strawberries which we only were able to get two of but we're now we have a seed maker so we're going to put a bunch of strawberries here when they grow we'll throw them into the seed maker and plant the whole uh thing around there we got blueberries one two three four five six seven eight Great, and we've got cranberries. And later on, I'm sure we'll replan this, and it'll be just like, you know, when we get the best, best sprinkler, it'll, it'll waste less spots in uh, here. Cranberries, do we have any other stuff? We can just leave it like this for now. Um, actually, let's do another thing of cranberries. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then, oops. seven eight so i'm gonna go ahead and and fill this up over time but i just wanted to show this to you uh in the meantime um and we will be replanning uh like i said when we get the uh best the best sprinkler and we get a bunch of those we'll we'll tear up all these sprinklers and then we'll we'll like do one really profitable crop and uh just go go to town on that but for now this is an area where we can grow anything we want all year round and oops and it's pretty amazing i love it it's it's it is the best uh community center reward so that's all set up we're gonna get some fruit trees in there it's gonna be great um so uh let's skip ahead and see what other stuff we can get onto. oh we have a little cutscene here harvey was gonna write us a letter you know you can just walk over to the farm really i mean oh no not our annual checkup. Hey, listen, I got things to do. I'm a busy guy. I, you know, if if I wasn't in good shape, I wouldn't be able to make such wonderful quality items in awful, awful farms. I wouldn't be able to hoe my fields and stuff. Come on, man. All right. Ah. Uh, I already did. Okay, check away. That's ah, cold. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, Doctor. Oh, well. I don't know about that. I'm a very diligent farm worker. No problem, Harvey. All right, so that was a quick cutscene. I was coming in here to give Harvey some more uh, presents and stuff like that. Let's see if we say hi to him and give him a blueberry. Such a nice gift. So, uh, actually, since we cut in, let's go ahead and do some of the uh, shenanigans we were going to do here. Close on Wednesdays, beer, you bastard. Ugh. All right, never mind. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to cut away again. Ooh, we got another one. This is a Sebastian event. I think this is too hard event. Sure thing, Sebastian. Oh, I'm staying. Man, he's just rabbiting away. Reminds me of uh, working for Joja. Okay. That's not me clicking. That's Sebastian, I swear. Uh, compliment the coroner's room. Ask him what he's working on. It's much more interesting than uh, what posters you chose. Freelance programming work, okay. Well, I mean... Oh, no. Robin's coming down. She's gonna bust his balls. Why are you on that computer again? Always. Always. 
Your friends are looking for you. Oh, man. I stopped by. Sam's looking for you. Abigail's going to come by. Sebastian's frustrated. Ask him about his career goals. That seems to be what he's interesting. That's right. Oh no, this is not his two star event because his two star or two hard event was the um, motorcycle. So was it him? Yeah, yeah. Well, I know all about that. That's fair enough. Alright, you get to it. So Sebastian does free work, freelance programming work, and he's a shut-in, as usual. So, let's go. The reason I came down here uh, was to give him... Sebastian's very favorite thing in the world is Void Eggs. So, I'm going to go ahead... Really love this. How did you know? Because I already played the game, Sebastian. Because I already played the game. All right. So uh, let's see what else we can do. Another event. This one's uh, Leah. She's getting heavy breathing phone calls from Kel, whoever that is. Yes. Afraid so. Ah, yes, of course. The, by all means, if you want to. The old starving artist trope. Gotcha. Yeah, I suppose. did something very similar well let's see had to be done your ex sounds like you're an idiot no but you would have been better off staying in the city is it selfish yeah a little yeah, but it's nice to care for yourself at uh, first well I'm gonna say IRL the answer is probably yeah a little but uh, we're trying to be nice so we're gonna say it had to be done I suppose, I mean, if the relationship was never going to work, then it was never going to work. Ooh, so Lee's been working on sculptures. She's going to put that art show up on uh, Stardew Valley. And depending on how good her, alt or her art is, uh, we might make Stardew Valley a, a premier art destination. Here, have an apple. Really nice gift. Yeah, I know. Um, so... That's, uh, that must be your five heart event. Great. All right, I want to do one last thing in this video. Uh, these winter seeds, remember we got them from the community center, and you can also craft them if you get, um, ancient seeds, winter seeds. If you get, like, one of each of the, the uh, things, uh, I think you get five winter seeds or ten winter seeds, uh, one of each of the uh, forage things. You can you can craft them yourself. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant these. These are the only things that grow in winter other than, you know, things in the greenhouse uh, and fruit trees do mature in the winter. So I'm going to go ahead and plant these bitches up just like this. And I had plenty enough uh, space. So we're just going to do this for now. Uh, so, as I was getting to say there, <laughs> I appreciate it very much if you're watching this video and this video series. It really means a lot to me. Uh, all the suggestions and the thread has been a lot of fun and stuff, so keep it on up. That would be great. Um, as always, there's a link in the video description to the playlist, so you can skip around go back to the beginning if you want to. Ooh, we have uh, some jellies. Um, and also the link to the thread on the Something Awful forums, which is where you can go uh, vote on animal names and suggest things, ask questions, anything you need there. Uh, so until next time, I'll catch you guys later.